Here we are, Owner Builders Unite, at the Crestone Energy Fair Demonstration Building. I'm here with my beautiful partner, Goldie, and Sean King. And Sean King is the lead of this uh, building. And Goldie is in charge of the Crestone... Ongoing Education Series. Perfect. And I just want to introduce Sean here. He's done a lot for helping us not have building codes in Sawatch County for the time being. And he's doing stuff for the state with uh, composting toads, working on preserving our alternative building community here in Crestone. All right, um, this building was um, designed and intended to provide opportunities for people to learn about alternative building materials, alternative building approaches. Um, and the concept of the design was to have a building that would be a basically post and beam, meaning that the structure would be primarily supported um, by um, posts and um, um, the roof structure load would go on that. And then we would have these panels where different um, building styles could be, um, or building techniques could be demonstrated hands-on so people get a chance to do it themselves and really get close to the materials. Um, and that we would have these um, little demonstration um, windows that would allow people to look and in some cases actually touch and contact the materials in this site, which is a public site, um, is very generously shared with um, this endeavor um, by uh, Ben and Michelle of, um, of the Elephant Cloud. Um, so that's the general concept. Uh, next stages are to get a roof up um, so that the wall systems are um, available to be worked on um, regardless of weather and also so that it looks like a more complete building right now it's it's very it's very much in a pause for the winter and it's we're just now getting into spring so things are popping and there's going to be um, daily or near daily activity here um, and on both the main structure and on the wall systems um, so um, from there uh, maybe Goldie you could speak a little bit about what uh, some of the possible workshop opportunities are coming up and and um, can I get people introduced to that yeah so there's many opportunities on this structure because we still have the north east and west walls to finish so actually if anybody has any wall designs that they want us to try out we're open to ideas still we're probably I want to do a bottle wall at least on one of them um, more hempcrete has been talked about too and um, earthen plasters adobe floors there's a lot of options here so i run the ongoing education series for the energy fair and we're going to be doing workshops all summer and then also suzanne rouget is heading the demonstrations that will happen during the actual energy fair so there's a lot of people um, supporting this build and a lot is about to start happening and yeah we're all excited for it and so this meeting today was just to get deadlines and yeah, we want people in town to be excited about it and support us. So Sean, what is the next step in the build? The next major step in the build will be to get a roof on this. So we've got plans, we've got lumber, we've got a team coming together. Um, and this is gonna be a very unusual roof. It'll, be, uh, it'll have a curved line and it'll be a living roof. Um, so we're gonna have plants um, involved with the top of the, of the building. Should be absolutely gorgeous when we finish. Um, and then ongoing work um, will include um, bringing these wall systems along so that they look more complete um, and gradually and getting the, uh, the windows installed that are going to be the, the, the displays for the different systems because they're all going to be unified and covered um, with an attractive finish layer um, when we get it done. So here's a view of the side of the building and a view from the front which is a south face. To indicate that, I'll draw a sun that's either colored in or open. If it's open, that means you're looking south into the sun. If it's blacked out like that, I'm indicating that you're actually looking north, like you're looking at the back of the sun. And this indicates that this is the direction that sunlight will come into or hit the surface of the building. So south is this way. I don't see any reason to use cardinal directions because it doesn't tell you anything about passive solar. You should use the sun to indicate what's going on for directions in a building. A living roof layer, so this is just to indicate kind of the, you know, the fuzziness that you get at the end of the whole process with a living roof, where you have plants that drape over the edge and protrude upwards, softening the edge of the top of the building. Um, and um, this is also to show where we have the panels. This is the straw bale. Um, we have, um, let's see, it's just, come on, I should know. Uh, straw bale, cob, hempcrete, and, um, uh, aircrete on the end. Um, and the other thing that's interesting about this building, I think, is that we didn't bother grading the site. So this line is actually a ground line. 
So we're going to be working with um, the topography a little bit for drainage, um, but just for the visual, um, the visuals, the look of it, rather than forcing the landscape into a flat plane um, and emphasizing that, um, I decided to allow the foundation work, which is very stably created under underground to meet the line of the ground without having to alter the line into um, something that was rectilinear. So we have that. Um, Sweet. And there you have it. Cool. Owner Builders Unite. Like and subscribe. Thank you guys. Thank you. Mm -hmm.